you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Ugly. Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you could never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as, as if... It's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Won't be long now, folks. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> for this one just about ready. to get underway. Good. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Nice job blocking that punch. Early connection with the left from the champ. Doubles up on the jab. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Swing and a miss by Lee. He's able to slip the left. How good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Fighter blocks a punch. Flip that one. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes 
to his counterattack here tonight, and again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Jab, snaps the head back. He's got to start kicking, kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. Right hook to the head, block. to avoid the right. Effective use of the jab there by Lee. More than one. Let's go. Get those combinations going. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. with the left. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Oh, beautiful hook by Lee. Push kick there to the body. Over and over, this guy is getting hit right in his face. Nice great punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, straight punch lands flush on the counter. Nice deception with his footwork. And again, a broken record when it comes to the reach advantage. Certainly helped him out there. Trading huge shots. Let's see. It's going to be the last minute stand. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Let's work, guys. Come on. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not head-hunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. Under 20 seconds now to go. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Uh, round two is next. Uh, All right, buddy, take a seat. Deep breath, buddy. Breathe. All right, let's get him some water. Take a drink. All right, here we go. Listen, you're doing absolutely awesome. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? You ready. Second round underway. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. There's that side kick. Oh, nice slip, and then the counter for him there. And I know DC's inner monologue is, man, can I just be the longer fighter in one UFC matchup? I get it, man. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. 
This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, nice. Uppercut attempt here. Nice job defensively there by Lee. Watch right, so Look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Three minutes to go. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up, Julio. He's able to stick the left leg. That's one way to upset the equilibrium. Nice high kick. Nicely done to the body. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer theoretically to the end of the fight. Yeah, and you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice punch to the head. All right, another strike to the body. Continuing to invest there and some bruising starting to develop. Well, John, you could tell they had a game plan. Invest in the body early. And let's see how it pays down the line. Right now, you can start to see it's paying dividends. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, nice straight left. 20 seconds to go round two. Hands high, hands high. Final seconds here. Huh. And the horn sounds on round two. Stop, stop, stop. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the Ready bridge of his nose. Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times. <laughs> to his feet. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock this fight IQ, but it 
it seems like he's sort of playing around here. It feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. Oh, massive diving punch, flush to the head. He's brutalizing him with the ground and pound. This fight is close to being done. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Excellent ground and pound there by Lee. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, nice inside kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, oh! that is it. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 23 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the